He conquered the corporate world and he also stood tall in the cabinet, heads and shoulders above many of his colleagues. Thanks to his exemplary performance in the transport, internal security and environment ministerial dockets. But now John Joroge Michuki is no more. Michuki died of a heart attack caused by multiple organ failure at the Aga Khan University's hospital's intensive care unit shortly after 9 p.m. on Tuesday at the age of 80. Michuki had been admitted at the hospital on Sunday, days after jetting into the country from London where he was undergoing treatment. News of Michuki's death was broken to the Kenyan nation by President Mwai Kibaki just before he left for a conference on Somalia in London. The head of state immediately paid tribute to the man who had through sheer hard work and determination won plaudits from the public. The president sent his condolences to Michuki's family and described the late minister as a focused public servant, determined businessman and issue-oriented politician. At the Lee funeral home where his body now lies, family, friends and colleagues of the late Michuki gathered soon after hearing the news. Acting head of civil service Francis Kimemia, who served under Michuki as internal security PS, was one of the first to arrive. Give the family time to, to get their peace. Former First Lady Mamangina Kenyatta joined the Michuki family, including his widow Josephine, to condole with the bereaved. I request all members to rise up in their places and observe a minute of silence in honor of our departed colleague. As the country woke up to the sad news, so did the legislative arm of the government, where Michuki represented Kangema constituency in Muranga County. MPs stood for a minute of silence to honor the Kangema legislator, who has been a people's representative in the House for nearly three decades. And the road leading to the quiet Ridgeway's neighborhood where Michuki lived became busier by the hour as Kenyans from all walks of life trooped to his residence. As the Michuki family grieved behind closed doors, Kenya too mourned the loss of one of its most effective and decisive leaders. As the clock ticked, more visitors joined the family during this trying moment from the politicians like Vice President Kalonzo Musioka and a host of other leaders, not to mention key captains of industry and the Kenyan commercial sector, including Royal Media Services Chairman Dr. S.K. Masharia, who has been a close family friend of the Michukis, to diplomats as well. One by one, Kenya's morning Michukis loss came in. They too saddened by the huge loss and void brought by the passing on of a man who represented the face of public officials of the general public has always yearned for and which truly he lived up to. I want to take this moment to ask all of us to emulate the good example of Minister John Michuki, an astute public officer. When it comes to ethics, when it, ca when it comes to ability to articulate issues, he was a cabinet minister and the government will make sure any expense that is there or anything that needs to be done will be done. Michuki will be buried next week on Tuesday, the 28th of February. Abdi Osman, Citizen Live at 9.